Hey everyone, my name is TTS Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to play a sound clip on animation frame. So whenever our player step on the ground, we want to play a sound. How to do that, I'm going to show you. But before we start with the tutorial, you basically need a player script, a player movement script, so you can move, and obviously a player with a uh, move uh, with some animation, so you can basically play the animation on step. So to get this, you just need to go into the asset store, get the free asset uh, from the standard assets uh, from the Unity Technologies uh, account. Um, you get this character over here with the play movement script and its animations, so you can follow the tutorial along. So to start off, uh, you already see me here in the animation tab. Uh, we need to create a small event on frame in our footstep animation so to do that we need to get into the walk script uh, by the way if you don't see any this window over here it's probably ducked under here so you just need to drag it up if you don't see any character here you just need to uh, drag your, your character down and um, there you go you can do whatever you want so to do any animation uh, to do any any how to say that uh, event you do just need to open the events tab and you see this line here that's the timeline of your animations whenever uh, the, the player steps here on the ground we want to create on this button here a new event which is created right over here we will call it step and we won't give it any float into just string or object you can do obviously um, on the animation different things but for now we want to do a simple sound effect all right so we need to go further to the left foot step right over here create another event and we will call it as well step so whenever he step with his left foot or right foot we want to call the step event and we need to apply it obviously now we have created two events with the same name obviously and now we need to create a new uh, new uh, script called foot step So basically here we have created a required component where we, whenever we add the script to a player or to an entity, the audio source will get added automatically to the component if it's not already there. Also we have created now a private variable, the audio source, and we just um, try to get it from our uh, game object at the start at the wake. So basically here we have another function which is called step that's the event so we can just say that's the animation event so whenever you have this script on your component and uh, the animation happen so the step event will get called if you don't know what are events you can um, ask for another tutorial so i will make a tutorial about events but it's, a, it's a very simple whenever you call step so the name of the animation let me check if i'm in the right scene over here um, whenever you call the event which needs to be the name of the event needs to be the same as here you know guys so whenever this happens um the event gets called, the function gets called with the same name, and we play a random clip. We still need to do a function uh, to decide what clip we want to play, but before we do that, we also need to add some clips in the uh, library. So we have another function plus we added an array of our audio clips and here we just do a random range, fun random range function to decide which clip we want to play and then we just add it over right over here and we just play it. Let's test this out. 
we have our array we just add like four different sounds we have also here sounds inside let's go to forest just to play anything play oh yeah we have the audio source by the way but to um, yeah if we have the um, the uh, script already attached and we add required component inside the audio source won't get Im um, imported afterwards so we need to make this first or let's say once manual let's try it again Thanks for watching. I hope you liked that quick tutorial. We will do another tutorial on footsteps, which will determine on what terrain material we um, just step on. And uh, then you can play a different sound, like say if it's uh, grass or stone or whatever, you will always be able to play another uh, terrain sound. All right. I think that's it. Bye bye.